given us such a, a precise historical analysis um, of the perception of women in, in Rumi's works. Uh, I have questions for both of them, and so I'm going to take advantage of my position to ask them first. Um, one of the things that I've noticed, uh, Frank, in reading the Manon Rebel Arafin, is that the word shawl head is used for women. Um, and I'm wondering, I'm, as you know from previous conversations, I oppose the interpretation of the word shawl head to mean exclusively men. And I found many references in Obey de Zakhani, who is the most erotic of all the Persian poets, of its usage for women. And I'm wondering um, what you have to say on that to begin with. And the other question is, um, you, you mentioned that Rumi's perception of women, if I, if I understood you correctly, is confined to the male gaze. It's a sort of, the male gaze is where, where he's coming from. But, I mean, I, it seems to me that you've, I mean, th these are minor points, obviously, but it seems to me that you, when that, that famous passage where he quotes the tradition of the prophet that women prevail over the wise and the ignorant prevail over women, and where he's, where the, the famous line where he, he speaks of the woman as where he's talking about the divine feminine. And Ralph Austin, of course, has that article, the, 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 Sof the Sophianic uh, feminine in, in the poetry of Rumi and Ibn Arabi. So it seems to me that that dimension you've understated, or perhaps it's in your footnotes or something, I haven't, uh, I, haven't I didn't hear it in your, your paper. So th those are my two questions. Uh, so let me uh, go in yeah. reverse order. Okay. Um, I had to cut out a part um, of the paper that does address the issue that you're bringing up mm -hmm. of the Sophianic mm -hmm. feminine. Mm -hmm. um, what I said was that in comparison to Attar, who often uses heroines um, and, and allows them agency that is not restricted to their relationship to male figures in a way that Mawana does not. In the Masnavi, oftentimes women have agency. They oftentimes prevail in wisdom over their husband or another mm. male figure. However, they don't appear as heroines in any of the stories of the Masnavi except in relation to a male character, unlike in Attar. So in this respect, I think if you compare Moana to Atar, there is less of a sense of looking from a, women, a woman's point of view. So that's what I was addressing in saying that he has a, still a male gendered gaze, uh, which isn't to say that he accepts the male gaze Thank as um, mm -hmm. paramount. Mm -hmm. It's often balanced or corrected mm -hmm. by a feminine mm -hmm. gaze, but, but always there's a complementarity there that's not necessarily present in Atar. Um, on the question of Shahid Bazi, I think you're right. In uh, Aflaki, there is a dual sense to it. Mm. Occasionally, it does mean women. Mm. In, in fact, in the place which I quoted, mm. it does seem actually to mean women. Um, I don't deny that it's possible for it to have this meaning, because after all, Shahid is a witness to the divine. Theophany. Yeah. And that in itself, is the, the jamal of the divinity is ungendered. So there's no reason why it doesn't, it can't mean both men mm. and women. It just conventionally mm. uh, tends to mean boys. Uh, I would, uh, I don't want to get into debate now because we, we can do that later, but I think that there's been a prejudice, personally. I think there's a prejudice among scholars to make this homoerotic, <coughs> this Shahid Bazi, and you actually don't find it in the poetry. Uh, in fact, the contrary. And because Persian doesn't have gender, nobody can, can argue this ultimately. I, I think th this, is a, this is something that has to be realized. I mean, Michael Berry, in his essay on, in the book on Attar that I edited, that you have your, your um, essay wasn't included in, unfortunately. But um, he, he argues that 
the appearance of Layla in the in the mehrab in certain Persian miniatures is a is a is an is actually the Shaw head. It's a theophany, and so. Anyway, this is a long well, discussion. I, I wouldn't go too far. Yeah. I mean, there are mm -hmm. many places where it's very clear that the Shahid is male, and mm -hmm. there are discussions even in uh, the context of the mm -hmm. uh, Moana's writings condemning uh, other Sufis like the Hadidina Karamani mm -hmm. for Shahid Bazi with boys. It's yeah. very, very clear in mm -hmm. many cases that they're talking about boys. So I, mm -hmm. I would reject or push back on the notion that mm -hmm it is not conventionally uh, geared mm. towards the discussion up to this point in history, up to the 13th century, I think tends to be focused on boys, but that it also encompasses uh, the feminine, I don't deny, that's, okay. that's also true. Good, anyway. Uh, I really like your reference to uh, the idea that lust is male menstruation. I, I would I'd like you to give me oh, that reference. It's more on our, not yes. mine. <laughs> no, I know, but your, your <laughs> citation, because it's a very ancient you know, phrase. In long before Islam, uh, menstruation was the state of being binamaz. So similarly for men, uh -huh. uh, in states of lust, they are unable to pray. I this is a Western? It's a very ancient, yeah. yes. I thought that the phrase, I mean, what Bayezid used was that uh, miracles, Karamat, Hazarajal, Al Karamat Hazarajal. I didn't hear the, I never heard, was it Al Hawa Hazarajal? Al Hawa. Hazarajal. Good. So, do we have any questions from the audience? Following Nicholas. That, 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 that <laughs> came to, 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 to translate this one. Is it the same for the English uh, translators or English uh, writers about the about the subject? Well, the only person who's made it so far to book four and five, which are the books of the Mass Navi that you're referring to, uh, perhaps Alan will soon be there. I've already <laughs> translated the dirty bits. Um, I've already translated them. The, uh, there, uh, yes, you were going to say. Well, uh, they're, they're following, I, I, I mean, this, this actually may be indication of reliance on Nicholson, because Nicholson does use Latin for those yes. naughty bits, and I keep trying to figure out whether that's in order to keep young uh, people in Britain from figuring it out, or to encourage them to study their Latin. Uh, <laughs> one or the other. But, but you know, you're, a, you're absolutely right. And what's, what's striking about the Masnavi's discourse on these topics, for example, the very famous story of the, the woman and her, her maid servant and the donkey. Well, the, the, the maid is not condemned for her <coughs> lust. She's condemned for her stupidity and not knowing how this contraption The woman works. is condemned. The maid is praised. The, the woman the, who is the, 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 yes, the, yes. the lady yes, of the I household, she's condemned for being stupid. Yeah, yes, yeah. I had it reversed. You're right. Um, so here we're not condemning the, the lustfulness. We're condemning the, the lack of wisdom in the use of well, the body. Well, the lesson 